Greetings, YouTube. When the Supreme Court overruled vote, uh, Roe versus Wade, uh, their, their basic concept was that if you progressives out there want, want you know abortion rights, you should vote on it. It should be handled by the state. And a number of states have actually put that up, and a number of states have actually enshrined uh, abortion access because the people in the United States of America want people to have access to abortions. 70% of Americans support women having access to abortions. Abortions are health care, flat out. And apparently the majority of Americans understand that. It is only the, the fascist minority who have decided to seize specific points of control and decided to impose their social conservatism upon the rest of us. Well, the Republicans have seen how that's been going in other states. So in Ohio, in this coming November, there's going to be a vote on that. And if it passes a 50 plus percent um, a bar, that it will be enshrined in the state's constitution as, you know, people will have access to uh, abortions. The Republicans didn't like that. They Again, they've seen how it's gone in other states. They don't want that to happen in Ohio because, well, they're fascists. And uh, so they decided to try to sneak a vote in in August, figuring they couldn't, the people wouldn't muster uh, a proper vote response in, in summer, uh, that they were going to change it from a 50 plus percent to 60 plus. So you had to have the 60 percent percentage points to get the, the amendment put onto the Constitution. Now, you could say that there's a reason, a good reasoning behind that. But the re reason that Republicans did that right now at this point in time is they want to make it harder for people in Ohio, which is Ohioans, I believe what they're called, um, to enshrine abortion access into their Constitution. They are trying to, again, impose their socially conservative worldview upon everyone else because, say it with me, they're fascists. Um, well, they had the vote. And the Ohioans showed up and the Ohioans said, no, 57 to 43, that, you know, you will not change it from 50% to 60%. It will remain 50 cents for 50% and come November, we are going to hand you your asses. So I don't know what they're going to do now. They're, they're going to do lie, cheat, steal. They'll do anything they can between now and November to do everything to stop that vote. But I don't know if they can. This is a referendum that's in the people's hands. If they try to take that back, that's something I don't even think the Republicans could pull off. I think that they're stuck with having to live with their own position, which is if you want abortion rights, darn it, you should have to vote on it thinking that no one would, thinking that, that again, social conservatisms, social conservatives think that everyone is secretly, secretly socially conservative. Just like bigots always think that everyone is secretly bigoted, misogynists always think that everyone is secretly misogynistic, and they're not. Uh, there really are progressive people in the world. There really are uh, feminists in the world. You know, there, there, there really are people that, that, that despise fascism in the world. Um, in fact, during the 1940s, America was a well-known Antifa force on the planet. And we had a really good response to Nazis. Yes, we did. Yeah. I want to bring that back. Um, so the Republicans got their asses handed to them with this August sneaky vote that was going to change it from 50 to 60 percent. And in November, I'm hoping that the Republicans get their asses handed to them again. And that the people in Ohio will then have access to abortion because they should have access to abortion. But a long time ago, we made an established that it should be 24 weeks. And I stand by that. That 24 weeks, boom, anything up to 24 weeks, you can have an abortion for any goddamn reason you want. Most often, probably, you don't want to be pregnant. That's the only reason you need. You don't want to be pregnant. That's all. No other excuses. No other justifications. You don't have to haul any trauma out to prove that it's a, you know, a justified abortion. No. You just don't want to be pregnant. Boom. End of conversation. The only uterus you get to control is your own. Don't have a uterus? Shut the fuck up. If you're not trying to support people, if you're not trying to help people engage with their full bodily autonomy, if you're trying to endorse imposing your socially conservative views on the world at large, shut the fuck up. We don't need to hear it. 
We've heard it before. At nauseam, we've heard it before. We don't need to hear it any longer. Get back into the closet where you belong. Go in there and you can hug your white hood and leave the rest of us alone. Leave the rest of us to progress forward into the future. As opposed to what you would like to push to do is push us back, regress into the past, into that mythical golden age that never existed. But an age where you did have more power if you were a white person, particularly if you were a white, straight, cis, Christian man, you had lots of power. No one was willing to tell you to shut the fuck up. Well, I am a white, cis, straight man, not Christian, um, who's willing to say, all you social conservatives, shut the fuck up. Go away. We don't need you. The world is tired of listening to you. And I am so happy that the folks in Ohio handed you your asses.